thanks for joining me. Um, I thought we'd get the tactics forward out because this might be <laughs> into more entertaining for both of us. But before we get on there, talking about the importance of Sunday. I think it's, we are exciting because this young team with the possibility to challenge one of the best teams in the world is a, it's an amazing challenge for us and a good, good opportunity you know, to, to compete in our best and, and the possibility to lift a trophy. OK, you mentioned opportunity. I hate to bring this up, but you did play Liverpool a few weeks ago and it was 4-1. On the tactics boards, can you talk through what you would do differently? The most important thing is, is about before to talk about tactics and it's to match them in the way that they compete. I think if we are aggressive in, enough and we match them, I think after we can talk about tactics to try to uh, force them to play more in their own half because if not, it's a very dangerous team with the capacity to score goals. So you're going to chances. try and keep them in this half, obviously? We are going to try to keep, to force them. People say the formation is 4-3-3, or 4-2-3-1, three, three, or, four, two, three, one, or mm -hmm. you know, 4-4-2. Four, four, I think it's 1-4-3-3. Three, three. What we need uh, to do is to match them and to try to force them to play in their own half, trying to play in position first, and it's an important thing under our system to try to find some weakness where we uh, find the space to receive and then to force them to run back to their own uh, goal. Can I ask you about some individual players then yes, on of here? Course. We'll start at the back line. You've, you've had to make a lot of changes, I think, 20 out of 36 games in your back line. What's the reasoning behind that? Uh, Insured players. Yep. We never have the possibility to repeat the mm -hmm. defensive line. Normally, if you have three shames or Malogusto, you have Cucurella or Ben Chilwell. It's a, this, this type of fullback that I like, that can go forward and can manage the last third. On the, they can play on the side or can play inside, you know, wider or inside. That's clever in the way that you can use and then can offer different alternatives in, in attack and playing in possession in the, in the opposite half. Your midfield, at the moment, it's been Caicedo, Enzo... Enzo. And kind of Gallagher. Yes. Are these now starting to click and get into their rhythm, both Enzo and Caicedo? Yes, I think it was always time. You know, they need to know each other to play together. It's not only, of course, training session, but also also to compete. You know, and now they they start to understand much better in the way that we are playing. We have the capacity because Caicedo now uh, start to feel more freedom because Caicedo can build, can drop and build from back, but it's a player that can combine with Enzo, being on the, in different space, to, uh, to help and to build from back. But he is a player that needs to, little by little, to give more freedom after to arrive to the opposite half because he has the capacity to score. But Enzo also, too, is improving a lot because now Enzo is, is a player with the capacity to drop and help the tip in the build-up from back, the transition to connect and to help also good pass and keep possession and then to arrive, you know, from the second line and score goal. But Caicedo, little by little, is going to find also the regularity to and the consistency to do the same. I tell you looks really happy, Palmer. I think Palmer is a player that can go to play in the number nine, that maybe his best position is here. Do you move him to win you the game because sometimes... Yes. Yeah, you do. You just yes, go, yes, there's yes. a weakness, I'm just going to play you there. In an offensive situation, we create different dynamics and organisation for him to give the freedom to be wide, to stay inside, to arrive, and arrive like a number nine, change position. We create some dynamics, you know, to, for him to feel free. In every single situation, he needs to read. Even also when we play from back, he's maybe the only player that has the, the freedom to move and to try to find the space. What a compliment that that is, to give him that yeah, freedom. Yeah, maybe too much, no? Maybe too much. <laughs> what is the best thing about being Chelsea manager? I think to be part of the history of this club, I think is, is amazing. We will see if we can win the trophy and improve in our, you know, uh, performance. But uh, for sure, good things uh, will happen.